What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Today's Angler. Got a special one for you today. Well, I hope so. Um, I'm on big water today. My first time ever on the Chippewa flowage. Uh, you know, it took, what, a year and a half for me to actually get out on this body of water. It's an intimidating, intimidating piece of water. Um, it gets stocked pretty well. I've heard all the horror stories though of a lot of a lot of days uh, blanking on fish here. So I don't know. I wanted to come out here, explore it. Uh, Lee actually he fished here 15 years ago, so he gave me a few spots. Um, just judging by those spots, you can kind of tell which what other spots will be uh, good as well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tackle this place. I only got a half day of fishing. It rained all morning. Um, it's been raining the last couple of days, which uh, seems like. Some big fish are moving shallow with that uh, maybe rising water in, in the flowages up here. Um, cooler water temps too, so maybe the bait's up there. I don't know, but it seems like there's some more big fish shallow in uh, the last week of fishing. I, it has not been so successful for me. My first impressions, I always thought this place was uh, gonna be loaded with houses. I mean, I saw some on one of the shores, but uh, where I'm at right now, it is absolutely stunning. Um, quite a few boats out. And I wanted to fish a couple spots uh, closer to the launch, but uh, they were already taken. So I guess that's how it is. Um, a lot of people up in the Northwoods right now. But yeah, I'm just going to go uh, kind of play by play what spots, show you kind of how these spots lay out. And uh, I don't know, it should be a great topwater day if I find a muskie. So I'm pumped. Let's catch you. Let's go catch a world record. How about it, guys? All righty. Let's get to some fishing. First impressions. I love and I'm loving the watercolor. Nice green water. Um, I didn't really know that. I mean, I knew it coming into that a lot of the lake is uh, green water, which is pretty dang cool. Um, I like green water. It makes me feel comfortable. But yeah, this first spot I'm fishing. It's uh, on the break. There's loaded with uh, with bait fish, which is cool. Um, over here, it, uh, the contour is kind of steep, so I didn't even bother fishing that. But uh, coming over here, there is a nice flat that sticks out. And I think that, judging from all the spots Lee gave me, they all have a flat on them. It's all island stuff, close to deepish water. Um, so that's interesting. Um, I'm liking that. I feel comfortable with that. That makes a lot of sense. Nice little sitting flats for these muskies. Man, there's like weeds out in 10 feet of water. That's pretty crazy. There's a nice saddle in between these two uh, islands here. So that looks like a, a nice little spot for a topwater muskie. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of blown away by the, the weeds out in 10 feet of water. That's kind of a, it's kind of plain with my mind. I thought it would be all shallow, you know, six feet, seven feet uh, weed beds. So we'll see. Okay, first floating lead of the day, and it is that kind of stuff. Muskies like that. All right, let's catch my first Chippewa flowage muskie. Well, folks, here's a little update for you hit about two three spots they're all pretty much similar um we just got an island here kind of an island complex complex deal and uh there's a nice big flat that sticks off of it with uh some milfoil some cabbage on it and uh boat traffic it's pretty wild so i don't know top water has not produced yet not sure exactly what to do. It was windy before. Now it is completely flap calm. Perfect flap tail conditions. You know, if anything's going to get it done, a flap tail should. I know there's got to be at least a couple fish on this spot. It's so massive. Massive weed bed. Looks so flipping good. I just cannot believe the weeds on, uh, on the chip. It's just, it's incredible really. I did not picture this at all. I heard the milfoil was a thing, then holy cow, it sure is. But yeah, it's a Sunday, and uh, we got a nice speedboat over there, another speedboat over there. 
So making top water with boat waves just is not my favorite thing, especially when it's flat calm. So I might get a spinner bait out, a little spinner bait through the weeds, touching the structure. Maybe that's what I need to be doing today. Because uh, top water has not worked in uh, perfect top water conditions too. Oh, nice musky, nice musky. Dang it. Come on, dang it, nice musky. Wow. Real nice, 42, 41 or so. Come on, come back. Jeez, what a perfect specimen. Photo 41, 42, just a real nice one. Come on, girl. Such a wide body, holy cow. Got to the boat and just spooked. All right, my first fish icon on the Chippewa Forge. That, got, that has me pumped. Come back, she was moving so hot too. I mean, that thing should have ate. That is on the Boilermaker spinner bait. Uh, this is actually brand new, guys. Um, not sure when I'll have these made. It might be this winter, but uh, this is a two and a half ounce uh, head on it with a number eight Indiana blade. Uh, just lets you get down deeper in the cabbage. It's still very weedless. Um, Except, you know, when you get into that super thick, like, coontail and that eel eelgrass, that's always a, a struggle with any bait, so. But through cabbage, this thing works so dang good. Man, I wish that thing bit. That would have been so freaking sick. All right, well, finally some action. Well, guys, just dug into the lake woods. And, you know, I guess it wouldn't be a day on the Chippewa flowage. If I didn't throw at least for an hour or so the flowage green bucktail, it's the Lee Lures uh, mini boiler. Um, <laughs> people swear by it. They swear by the flowage green. That's the only color you need on this lake. I've heard it many times. I've seen people today throw it many times, which is, you know, not, not something I normally would do is throw exactly what other people are throwing, but this mini boiler should work really, really well in these weeds here. Um, no more action. It got a little sunny earlier. Um, but now we got some nice thick clouds coming over the lake, which is cool. Got them. Wow, flowage green. There's a reason we stuck that in my uh, tackle box earlier this season for this very moment. Go catch a big muskie on this bait. Apparently they like it. I hope. My rating so far on the Chippewa flowage, um, I would say it is very cool to fish. Um, these spots are a lot bigger than I anticipated from other flowage style fishing I've done in the past. They're really cool, cool spots. I mean, full of weeds. There's a nice break on them. I mean, I'm just looking for big flats out in the middle of the middle of the lake. That that's close to uh, deep water and raised one. That's pretty cool. And makes me a lot more enthusiastic for for this evening. But uh, my rating, I don't know. It'd be nice. It'd be pretty high up there if I uh, if I caught one. But I don't know. Very cool lake. Spots are cool. Uh, the only downside I would say is maybe it's just because of. Uh, Canada being closed, but that's apparently might open up here soon. We'll see exactly what happens there, but uh, a lot of boats. Holy cow. I mean, I can barely throw a top water. So that, that's a bummer. Granted, it's Sunday. I just, I don't know what it's like on a weekday, obviously. A lot of spots, big water, fun, fun structure to fish. Way more, I don't know, easier on the mind to fish all day on all these cool spots. So. I'm enjoying my time on the old big chip. I need to catch one. Man, this weather is so flipping good. Raised one hot fish. It's just a matter of time before something's gotta happen here. I got the magic color on. 
even though I really don't care about color, but <laughs> maybe they do like flowage green out here. Or is that what everyone is throwing? <laughs> That's probably it, but confidence is key. There we go, there we go. There's a muskie, I wasn't even looking. There we go, there's a tip wall. I do not have all the cameras out because uh, I always wrapped. Come here, you angry little muskie. Gosh, just trying to keep the camera covered. <laughs> not covered I should say Let's see if I can bag this guy up got her sweet musky aboard first time on the big chip alrighty then Whew. and he's off I hope uh, my jacket wasn't covering the mus the, that bite I wasn't even looking I just heard it and I had a musky on Wow, nice fish, nice fat fish. Heck yeah. Alrighty, first sip raw flowage muskie, first time ever being here. It is raining, I'm gonna do this quick. Alrighty there, there's a chunky Chippewa flowage muskie right there. Look how thick she is. The tail, so flipping cool. Oh man, that was an awesome eat. And uh, I'm not, I was thinking about boarding though, but I don't think I will. You're just gonna be angry. Oh yeah, probably like a 37, 30, ah, maybe not even. Just such a thick fish, such a thick fish. Yeah, 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 goodbye girl. Sweet, uh, just rolled up to one of the most famous spots on this lake. Um, figured I'd give it a try and uh, it worked out. <laughs> I got a muskie in the boat, super cool. It's raining, um, not too bad at the moment. Wish I had the other cameras up, but uh, what do you do? This bait is becoming my favorite bait again. It used to be my favorite, excuse me, sorry. It used to be my favorite bait, and then last year, I think I got one small bite on it. I did it. I got a Chippewa Flowage Muskie in the boat. Not a big one, but uh, there's room to grow. Can't just start off with a big one. Sweet. Okay. Well, the rain is back. I thought I was going to be able to set up cameras, but that's not happening. Got that on the Metal Series flap tail. Um, it's got that little washer in the back. Kind of tinks a little bit more. Doesn't matter. Probably not, but uh, I've caught a few muskies on this this year. I'm not going to say the spot's name, but uh, I'm sure anybody who's ever fished out here who's watching right now knows exactly what spot I'm talking about. Uh, please leave in the comments below if you have caught a muskie on this spot yourself. Um, you can even say how big, doesn't really matter, but uh, it would be cool to see who's all uh, caught a muskie right here because uh, it's a very famous spot and uh, historically is known for some big ones. Um, I'm in five feet of water. What's kind of new to the Chippewa flowage, apparently, I didn't really know this, but uh, there is a lot of milfoil now in the big chip which uh, used to not be like that. This spot used to be barren, apparently, what Ramzel says. But uh, there's a lot of milfoil in the lake, which is might be a bad thing, might be a good thing. I don't really know. But uh, I caught a muskie right here, which is super cool. Uh, I will not be casting right now because uh, those are some mega boat waves. Holy cow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. But yeah, as you guys can see right here, I'll stop my side imaging here. So I'm in five feet of water. Right to my left is these milfoil piles. Um, they're not super thick right here. I mean, there's just pockets here and there when I'm going along the break, going along the weed edge. Um, there's some milfoil behind me even. 
I'm not really sure where I should be sitting exactly. Should I be out more on the brake or should I just be on top casting at these piles of milfoil? So I don't know. I'm just gonna go back to where the same direction my uh, trolling motor was going on that fish and uh, just keep fishing it here. Probably close out the night. This is a big spot. Um, I like topwater muskies and uh, this rain can stop so I can get other cameras out, but that's all right. And uh, people need to stop driving around because uh, these boat waves are getting pretty obnoxious. <laughs> Well, folks, that's going to wrap up today's video. It is still raining. Um, well, cool to fish a new body of water. Famous, famous body of water. Probably the most famous body, musky body of water uh, in the world, obviously. The world record came from here. Yeah, it was fun to fish, though. Uh, I will pretty excited to come back here. Guys, leave in the comments below. Would you like to see a Chippewa Flowage uh, musky series? Um, thinking that that might be in the, the game plan for us this coming august september uh into october you know be something different get me out of my uh comfort zone and uh start pounding this water which is uh completely different from really what i've what i normally fish um but i enjoyed it i'm excited to come back here on a weekday uh this sunday was a little busy not not so good for uh top water fishing a lot of boat wakes it was definitely some big fish weather, but I uh, didn't see anyone else catch any. So I don't think the big uh, the big fish push shallow is here yet, but uh, obviously a few fish shallow. So it was super cool. Guys, also comment below um, if you have fished Chippewa Flowage before and what's your personal best? I would love to hear. Uh, yeah, uh, that was fun. I'm excited to get back here and uh, hopefully with another person. It's always better to uh, you know have two baits rolling through the water instead of just one. Uh, solo musky fishing can be uh, kind of a kind of hard on the mind what bait you should be throwing um, Move that one on my spinner bait and then uh, got the one on Lee's flap tail, but um, Yeah, shout out to Lee though. He got me a couple spots To uh, check out at least get me comfortable uh, coming out here and have a I have a few spots to uh, Try out right away, but I'm, I'm excited to explore some uh, new areas um, It's some giant water. That's for sure, but Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. Mosquitoes are out, it's still raining. It's pretty much dark here. And uh, yeah, guys, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you on the next video.